And the scenario is actually, even though Odie wasn't at fault, he does not advance from the eights. The final four bracket, physically, and, and how it would look, there's a spot empty in that top left-hand corner. Odie Bakshis does not advance onto the four. He stops at eight. So basically, there's three drivers in the final four. Yeah. So what happens now is James James Dean obviously doesn't have to do battle against Odie on that side of the bracket. James is in the finals. On the other side, it's Frederick Osmo and Connor Shanahan. The winner of that goes to the finals against James Dean. The loser automatically will get third place because Odie Bakshis, again, he had to retire or expire at the great eight. So again, your podium in what order? TBD, obviously James Dean is guaranteed at the minimum second place. He obviously wants to make it a perfect, perfect event, but James Dean waits to see who he's going against, Osbo or Shanahan. James Dean takes a bye run right now. So James in the finals, waiting to see who he goes against. The loser of Shanahan and Osbo is third place. James Dean versus the other competitor. If, if you really want to nerd out, which, I mean, that's that's me, download the judging rulebook. Uh, it's available on the website, the very bottom of, of formulaDrift.com. Judging rulebook, section 5.2. Uh, it's on page 13. It's the third paragraph. Very specific. It, it does outline all of this. So hopefully that will call some internet comments, but I don't think so. No, I think that, that gives clarity to the situation. And yeah, and that, that does make sense, you know? And, yeah. That's that's yep. why the rules are there. There's rules, Marty. There's rules. Can you make this a perfect event? James Dean getting the championship. Three podiums this year. What a ledge, as the kids would say. Hop, skip, jump, auto zone, Mustang, RTR, spec 5 FD. Yo. That's what that you know what that is? You know what that is? That's the pure cork screw. <laughs> right there, the pure cork screw. I like it. There you go. There you go, know that. Yeah. There you go, James. That's your sick flash of lights up there. So we got a party going on one of the booths. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Look at this. Norway versus Ireland. And then you got another Irish driver, James Dean, waiting. Again, the winner. The winner goes against James Dean in the finals. The loser is guaranteed third place. Here we go, Frederick Osbo, Connor Shanahan. Osbo got Shanahan's number earlier before. 1-800 said it, that's right. We're about to <laughs> oh, Frederick Osbo, Connor Shanahan. <laughs> Frederick Osbo initiates Shanahan the shadow. There he is, there you are, Peter. As Frederick Osbo to the outside zone. Let's see the transition. There we go, into the second outside zone. Shanahan, oh, a little bumper tap, throws him out of shape. Freddy keeps on, keeping on. Dropping the hammer, dropping the screwdriver, dropping the nails. Frederick Osbo, solid lead run. Shanahan was close, but he hit that wall. And the wall don't forgive. People don't forget. Sorry, you said chef's kiss. I know, I know. Come. Fine. Corner. Corner. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Watched the bear too many times. Just a few. <laughs> well, you lived it. I was I know gonna say lived, I lived it. Yeah, there for you a lived while. it there. Yeah, that's PTSD. A little bit. All right, here we go. Connor Shanahan out front. He's the shadow up front. That doesn't work. Actually, like Peter Pan again. There you are, Peter. Here we go. Connor Shanahan. That Red Bull garageistic BMW. Frederick Osbo is again chasing him down. Great job by Shanahan. Now coming around that inside clip. Let's see the transition. This is where Shanahan had that mistake, Freddie. Oh, and Shanahan gets a little out of shape once again. He's like a masseuse. And now coming back into that last outside zone. Shanahan pulling away a little bit. And Okay. Yeah. Something Some Side by side. Yeah, Rob talking smack. Dude. I know he's over there. He's like, oh, I think this is what's going on. He's yeah. that BC Racing custom coil over side by side. Let's see here. I mean, just great runs from both of them. Osbo just so dialed. He, going back to that robotic way where there, there seems like there's no corrections. He's able to drive this car with almost no input, nothing changing. And then Shanahan just aggressive. But same spot for Shanahan both times where he, he came out of angle both times with some contact. Just being aggressive. That's it. He should absolutely. Here we go. Slide him left for Freddie, right for Connor Shanahan. And Frederick Osbo gets the win. Freddie gets the win. And he is going against James Dean. Shanahan gets third place. Shanahan will receive third place. All right, so.
Let's uh, hey, hey, to meet you uh Jeremy way. Bay watch it from and not make any corrections and just hold drift the entire time. This is it. This is it. Little Michael McDonald. Little Michael McDonald there for you. Frederick Osbo, James Dean, our final battle of our 2024 season. They are tied two to two. Frederick Osbo, James Dean, who's coming out on top? 76% winning average. Look at these battles. And this is just over the last four years. But again, you know, this is this is great. So Freddie, James Dean, Norway versus Ireland, Toyota versus Ford, Supra versus Mustang. It's a lot. Of, I'm, I'm so incredibly excited to get both of them on the, uh, the podcast yeah. here tonight. The podium show is going to be epic with them and Connor. It's, uh, I mean, if you haven't tuned into one of the podium podcasts, this is definitely the one. Yeah, and, and what's cool about this too is here's Freddie who finishes third overall in the season. Yeah. Odie Bakshi's almost, you know, crazy turn of events there. You know, the contact there. So. You know, it's it's uh, it's pretty bonkers. So, again, hey, you want to shine some lights here? Larry Chan says, let's shine some lights here. Type S lights are lit up, so why not pull out your phone once again? Let's light up the night here for our finals. Let's send it! Frederick Osbo, James Dean. Frederick Osbo leads. James Dean giving chase. Here goes Frederick Osbo high on the bank. James Dean tapping the brakes. A little bit of separation there. Let's see if he can reel him in. Yes, sir. There you go. Working his way up top, bouncing his way past that transition into that second inside, that inner outside zone. Now look at James Dean, he's tapping some tire, bouncing back and forth, middle tire, one and two, banging doors, banging fenders. Well done. Wow. James Dean just right there on the Supra. Nitto on Nitto crime. Wow, what uh, what a way to start our final battle. Yeah, let's take a look here. Frederick Osbo once again just gets it into the pocket, gets it into the zone and holds it there. Very minimal corrections. James Dean able to mirror everything perfectly. Now to this transition, both of them hard charging, all throttle, all the way through to our second outside zone. And this is where James Dean really applies the pressure, both physically and mentally, and just he is there. He is rubbing that tire against the door. There are to be four or five door tabs all the way through that. James Dean just showing why he is the greatest drifter of all time. I'm yep. not putting it out there. This is why. He's able to adapt. He's able to do anything that the lead driver does as well as they do, if not better, throughout the entire thing. Frederick Osbo, though, looking absolutely perfect out in that lead. And that means James Dean is able to drive like this. Frederick Osbo is going to have his work cut out for him in the chase. But that being said, you know that James Dean is going to throw down an absolute heater in the lead. <laughs> It's no. Yes. What? 100%. You're crazy. I know. No way. So we turn him around and... Turn see. around every now and then I get a... All right. What do we got here? James the Machine Dean. Send it for the final time of 2024. Or is it? They go one more time. James pulls away against Frederick Osbo. High on the bank. High on the wall. Freddie backs down. Freddie backs down. James Dean your champ but your winner as long as he keeps it sideways across the finish line james dean adds another podium to his 2024 season solidifying that he is the best damn drifter in the world four-time champion 21 championships overall four podiums four wins unbelievable make some noise for james the machine dean Stepping out of the car, some hugs. What went wrong for Freddie, I the rock star Supra? I really don't know, but James Dean was on an absolute heater, and you Boom. can see Freddie's car break up, shut, shut down, down something. But man, James Dean, even, even with that, he didn't get the memo because he laid down one of the craziest leaps yeah. that we saw all weekend. Look at the angle. What did you say? Everybody. He's got some rocket fuel in the tank? He does. He does every single time. He's able to. Just when you think he's got a perfect run, he adds more to it. He's the kid who got 110 on the exam. Sauce boss. He stayed after class. Ugh. Extra credit. Still smiling. He's got a lot of Ireland on his shoulders. And he is pure cork, baby. Congratulations to Ireland. Look at this guy. Round of applause. Love it. Love it. Well done. They're doing the Batman thing? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> here it is, the Air Force replay. Just uh, looked like he just lost power and shut it down. And that, that's... That's a salvageable, you know, definitely, you know, just lost power. Yeah, you can see him fighting with the steering wheel, no. trying to do something, but... Uh, it's parked it. Yeah, car went down. Four 
Bird wins the championship once again. Back to back, Chelsea Denofa last year. Now James the Machine Dean. <laughs> Four events he won out of eight, 50% of the rounds. Yeah, one of the most dominant seasons in drifting history. Shanahan, his fellow Irishman, fellow countryman. Shanahan gets third place, he'll be on the box. But what, what a great podium overall here in uh, round eight and as well as the overall championship. Uh, the hugs all around from other drivers. There's Graham from Heatwave giving them hugs. See Matt Marcou from RTR. And just, just uh, I mean, look, I mean, let's just talk to one man himself. We talked to him. Cerise, down to you. Cerise, uh, you know, James, just, he's ready to do it again, I feel like. Yeah, there definitely has to be something in the water over in Ireland because we have two people on the podium. However, Ford is having an absolutely phenomenal time right now. Ford and RTR, you have back-to-back -back championships. I, there's so much energy running through your body right now. Explain to the people what, uh, what this means for you. Yeah, it's an unbelievable dream having, firstly, having all my family, Becky, everyone home, back home from Ireland supporting here, lots of friends as well that made the, the trip over to support this, and uh, it went out way better than what I expected. And for the whole Ford situation, driving a Mustang, I started when I was 14 years old driving a Ford Sierra, and that car cost me 200 euros, and to go from that let's say a pretty bad car to this absolute monster and uh, achieve more than my wildest dreams is just unbelievable so thank you to everyone that supports me it's been a dream it's been a pleasure driving here tonight trying our best and uh, i'm sorry for frederick in the final uh, mechanical issue but no matter what we were still uh, until that happened having a serious battle and uh, great battles tonight with matt field as well jeff jones and uh, what a what a way to finish an amazing year Absolutely, and that was a fight to the finish. Uh, Frederick, would you please join us? You are a phenomenal driver yourself, two-time champion. However, James Dean did come through at the end, proving that you are the championship. Three-time champion, apologies. Now, give us some context here of what it means to, to give the championship to this man as a, as a winner yourself. I mean, he's argu arguably the best, right? And not just arguably, he is the freaking best, right? And I remember seeing this guy in uh, Ireland back in the day, he was just as tall, but he was a few <laughs> years younger. Um, and he was, you can see it in his eyes, right? Uh, we came here to the States at the same time, 2008, and we were absolute, you know, fresh off the boat at the time. And uh, over the years, we've, we've learned a lot. He's accomplished a lot. We've accomplished a lot too, but there, there's still another level, and that is this guy. <laughs> Where is Shanahan? We need to get a, a, a message from the youth of the, of the population. Now, you are here on podium with absolutely gnarly drivers. I mean, give us, give us an, an insight into what's going on in your brain right now as you breach this new generation of, of FD drivers. Yeah, what an honor it is to be joined with, you know, as Asbo said, arguably the best in the world. But I think tonight the, the point is proven. I'm sorry, Asbo, but he is the best in the world. He's the guy that we've all looked up to. You know, he showed us that the dream was possible and to witness literally driving in the same championship and show that he's the first ever to win four is absolutely insane. I said it at the start of the, this year that you're going to see the scariest version of James Dean that you've seen in a long time. So congrats, buddy. Um, I'm proud. I'm, I know the work that you put in. You live, breathe this sport and uh, you're an inspiration to every single driver who gets behind the wheel. But I'm pumped. P3 in a car what rocked up last night. Well, not even branded. I don't even know anything about this car. I couldn't even tell you what engine's in it. So I'm happy. Uh, I drove the wheels off the thing, fell into lag against Ad on the transition going into the wall and was so annoyed because I was like it would be a magical story if it was another final with me and James but I drove my heart and soul out this year honestly I've been struggling the cars have you know been super difficult for me to drive but I'm happy and uh, to wrap it up at the podium I'll be back next year to make sure hopefully James doesn't win a fifth one <laughs> <laughs> guys the character and sportsmanship on this track is incredible please give it up one more time for your 2024 FD podium uh, oh. Thank you so much, Cerise. Great job uh, again working with you, Cerise Taylor. And uh, there is the podium. Uh, two Irishmen and a Norwegian walk into a bar, and it's going to get wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to tonight and tomorrow, the banquet. When we come back, we are going to sign off and have a great time. If you're here in the building, come join us at the podium. What an amazing event.
what, what a nightcap on an amazing season. Join us at the podium, and again, congratulations to James Dean. Not once, not twice, not three times, the four-time champion. Congratulations.